Uh, from Ryan, uh, hail almighty king of words and a voice only Morgan Freeman can rival. Fe. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. No, he does have a great voice. You know, when, when my daughter was born, I was standing next to uh, the guy who plays Darth Vader. What's his name? Uh, uh, James Earl Jones, and he had, had just had a child, and I'd had a child, and we both had these big voices, and we're standing, those days he had pay phones, we're both standing to each other, yes, we've had the, everybody's fine, and I was like, <laughs> I thought that sounds like central casting. All right, my roommate, who is also my cousin, just moved in with me. He has a rough past dealing with drugs. My family assured me he was doing better at 28 years old, and he was getting his act together, so he moved in, and, a, and in a month, he got two more DUIs in Arizona, so he has three now. Uh, he has not had his court dates yet, so we don't know if they're going to convict him or not. My family is everything to me, and kicking one of my family out of my home when they're on bad times does not sit well with me. But at the same time, I have to protect my home and pay my bills, kick him out. Uh, do it kindly. Do it, you know, give him a chance to get his feet under him. But uh, you do not want drugs in your house. When you are dealing with drugs, you're not dealing with the person you're dealing with the drugs. This is the whole thing about addiction. When you are dealing with somebody who is addicted to something, you're no longer dealing with that person. You are dealing with the, the substance. Uh, you do not want him in your house. I know he's your family. You can take care of him. You can look in on him. You can do anything you want, but get him out of your house. And, and like I said, do it kindly and give him time. But uh, you're not doing him any favors by supporting him while he destroys himself.